Hey, what is up everyone? The LDB is back at it again. Coming at you today with another Outriders video and we are going to be taking a look at my Edge of Time build that focuses on the Temporal Blade. This thing slices and dices and just does some huge numbers. I have been loving it. Super easy to clear that content and uh, I really, really recommend you guys try this one out if you have not already. So, as always, hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. If you do, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Subscribe for future content if you are new to the channel and be sure to drop a comment down there below. So, let's get into this.
idea that matches her blueprints for the plant. The elevator should lead to the heart of the facility. those energy spikes the insurgents had a functioning power cell down here what did you do with it it's disabled i'll see if zahidi can't take a look at it and it's found a pod detected. down here
Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's take a look at the class tree and we will move on to the good stuff. Pretty much straightforward what you would expect for an anomaly build right, and by that I mean specking into anomaly power every single way that you can across the board. That's definitely a must for me. And then if you can work on some cooldowns a little bit here and there, that's definitely going to help out a lot, as well as when you use a couple of skills you're going to boost your anomaly power. I mean pretty straightforward on that, nothing too crazy. So as far as the skills go, we got the Temporal Blade, we got Hunt the Prey, and the Ventner's Knife. All of them are under 7 seconds, the Ventner's almost just at 6 seconds, so if we could get that a little bit lower, that would be awesome, but I have cooldown on everything, and uh, I just I can't get it any lower, so maybe if I had some more maxed out pieces, something like that, I could get that a little bit lower, but still, we're doing just fine. All right, everyone, so here we go. On to the good stuff. Now, if you take a look up top over here, my base anomaly power is sitting at 161,000. Now, I say base because if you take a look back at my class tree, you'll understand what I'm saying, but if I use a couple of skills, we get a big, big boost onto my anomaly power, and then we can push this up over 300,000. So I'd have to say we're doing pretty good on that front, especially with the cooldowns that we have. We can really utilize that power, and it has been awesome. Now moving on to the weapons, pretty straightforward. Two weapons with moaning winds. It is what it is, guys. Uh, with these weapons you can actually do some damage a lot of people call it cheating call it cheap that you're just you know doing all this damage from reloading but on an all anomaly build all anomaly on the class all anomaly and all pieces you're not doing anything with these weapons try it out and see how far you get i mean it's you're not going to get very far it is what it is and the only way that you can is by using something like moaning winds all you got to do is reload and you get 387,000 damage to enemies within eight meters of you every eight seconds and when you have it on both weapons you can go ahead and shoot a couple times reload swap weapons shoot a couple times reload and you just did a whole boatload of damage right um, especially on this weapon here we have death chains as the second talent um, so if I actually hit the NPC with the shots that I'm trying to drain my magazine with 193 damage on top of the 387 and it gets even better with the uh, Funeral Pirate, however you say that. We have Shadow Comet on here. Shots call down a Comet dealing 210,000 on top of the 387,000. So we're talking, what, like almost 600k right there? I mean, that's just insane, guys, on an Anomaly build. Any other way you can get that kind of damage out of your weapons on an all-Anomaly build, I'm all ears. Uh, so other than that, let's get on to the gear pieces. Okay, so let's start right here with the headgear. I'm going to be using the Goggles of the Edge of Time. I was so, so happy when this dropped for me. I was like, yes, finally! I was trying to get this piece for like a week, and it finally dropped, and then I looked at the roll. 9,400, guys. 9,400. Come on. But it is what it is. It's been working out just fine. It's all about the talents. We have Anomaly Power, Cooldown Reduction, Skill Life Leech, and it comes with Double Slice for the Temporal Blade. Damaged enemies are additionally cut with Anomaly Slice, dealing 50% damage. So, if they're already damaged and you hit them with a Temporal Blade, 50% more damage. Gotta love that right there. And I went ahead and uh, paired that with Captain Hunter. So, if they're an Elite, they take another 25% on top of the 50. So, I'd have to say we're doing pretty good right there. Now let's take a look here at the bottom uh, for the set bonus of Edge of Time. It says that it increases the damage for Temporal Blade by 100% and the Cyclone Slice. But uh, I am not really a big fan of Cyclone Slice. It makes me kind of dizzy, so uh, I just stick to the Temporal Blade on a low cooldown. But uh, extra 100% damage, that is definitely a huge, huge thing. I have been loving it. Okay, so on to the chest piece. It is the Armor of the Edge of Time. It comes with Anomaly Power, Cooldown Reduction, and Skill Life Leech, and it also has Rebound for Cyclone Slice on it. Now, again, guys, I, I am not using Cyclone Slice. I'm not a big fan of Cyclone Slice. It's just not my playstyle. It is what it is. So to me, that is a completely dead talent. And believe me, it bums me out way more than it bums you out just watching this. I, I promise you that. Because I got a bunch of stuff that I could put right there, but it is what it is. I needed the chest piece. Uh, to complete the set and have the anomaly power cooldown and skill life leech across the board going. So it is what it is. I went ahead and put damage absorber on there because it increases your armor 52,000 and your resistance 10%. And on a build like this, that is all anomaly power. We don't have very much health or anything going on. So, uh, you know, that can definitely help you out um, because we're a little bit squishy. So this it's been working out pretty good. 
Okay, so moving on to the lower armor, the Pants of the Edge of Time. It comes with Anomaly Power, Cooldown Reduction, and Skill Life Leech, and I went ahead and put on Radiation Jump for Hunt the Prey. It inflicts Vulnerable to the enemy you teleport behind. Now, if you don't know what Vulnerable is, if you go ahead into the Options menu and go to the Guides, you can find out what it does. Uh, vulnerable essentially increases the damage received by 25% for 10 seconds, and that's on their end. They're going to take another 25% damage for another 10 seconds, so that's a big thing for teleporting behind someone, another 25% uh, damage up real quick, gotta love that. Now I also have Strong Slice on here for the Temporal Blade, increases the skill's damage by 96,000, almost 100k. Uh, so those two right there I feel like go pretty good hand in hand. Okay, so on to the gloves here. They are just some basic purple gloves, nothing too crazy. Could be whatever. Uh, I've got the Spirit Embalmer's gloves, I guess. Okay, whatever. They come with Anomaly Power, Skill Life Leech, and Cooldown Reduction, just like everything else has had uh, on the build so far, so I'm just stacking that as much as possible. And I went ahead and put Slasher on there for the Temporal Blade. The skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown, so pretty straightforward. You get two swings instead of one. I mean, to me, two is usually better than one, right? I, I mean most of the time, right? And uh, I got pretty lucky with these, comes with uh, Untamed Power, using a skill deals 48,000 damage to enemies within 5 meters around you, uh, and the damage is equal to 30% of your anomaly power. So, hey, uh, that that's, sounds pretty good to me, right? So, pretty straightforward on these gloves. All right, so on to the final piece, the foot gear. We have some ceremonial boots here, I guess. Just some basic purple boots, nothing too crazy. Uh, I just tried to find something that wasn't completely butt ugly because, you know, with this set, you look pretty cool, right? You, I mean, you're all futuristic looking and everything. And then if you go ahead and throw on, say, you know, like these, these brown boots, right? You just you look like a fool. It is what it is. I just it drives me crazy. So I went ahead and got these. They're they're a little bit shiny, so they fit. They fit. You know, for me this game has some really nice aesthetics, and I just hate to ruin it with some some brown boots. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it is what it is. Uh, it's really all about what they have on them. We got some anomaly power, healing received, and cooldown reduction. I wish that healing received was some more skill life leech like on everything else. But the way that this actually scales with the skill life leech is pretty nice, actually. Having that extra 18% healing received straight up on top of the skill life leech. Hey, try it out, guys. See how it works for you. Uh, now, as far as the talents go, we have Misery for the Ventner's Knife. Increases the skill's mark duration by 100%. So, it's going to be on them for 100% longer. And you might be thinking, well, what's the point of that, right? Um, the point is, if you miss them with your couple swings with your blade, you can always run up to them and proc moaning winds on them and it's going to do double damage because you got to remember when you use the ventner's knife the first hit that they take is double damage that's the whole point of it of, of pairing that with the temporal blade right and with this set so you know that's definitely something to try out guys don't overlook that at all uh, we have cut loose as well the temporal blade reduces the skills cooldown by 20 percent so again pretty straightforward on that just you know you get it back 20 percent faster just keep slicing and dicing i have been loving this build guys it's like one of my new go-to's definitely try this one out if you have not already i hope you all enjoyed and found this video helpful if you did please do me a huge favor and smash that like button subscribe for future content if you are new to the channel and be sure to drop a comment down there below so until next time guys, I hope you take it easy and I'll see you then later